I think my favorite thing to make lately, and I, I think it's because of this time of year, I love the Sunday suppers. So I have a Greek and Sicilian mother. So Sunday suppers were always kind of a big Italian feast at our house. You'd get the big pot of sauce going. My mom would make homemade cavatelle. Um, and you'd have a bunch of people over for a big Sunday dinner. So I, I really like doing that, especially when it gets a little more chilly outside. You know, as a carnivore, it kind of kills me saying this, but um, I, I think there's going to be more and more vegetarian uh, restaurants and options for vegetarian food at restaurants. So I, I think that's a movement um, that's going to continue happening. You know, I, I, my wife is a vegetarian, so once again, she's smarter than me. Um, she saw the future. Uh, but... Um, you know, I, I think that's going to be something that happens more and more, and we're seeing more. Uh, as a restaurateur and a chef, we're getting a lot more requests for that at our restaurants, and I just think that that's something that's really going to continue to grow. You know, I, I think people are more aware of what they eat now. I, you know, I think it's 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 better for the environment, um, and it's you know a little bit healthier for you in a lot of ways. Not, I mean, there's I st still think there's uh, to me life's kind of about balance. So, I mean, what we're seeing is, and even what I'm doing is maybe five years ago, I had eight ounces of protein on a plate with some vegetables. Now, if you look at my personal dinner plate, it's almost like flipped. I have more of the vegetables and then a couple ounces of meat. I, I just think more and more people are going to start eating that way. The new book is Fix It With Food. It was the New York Times bestseller, which made us incredibly proud and happy. Um, and it, it's about... Um, eating to eliminate inflammation. So I have RA and lupus, so it, I, inflammation is kind of a killer for me. So it was about learning uh, what foods that I could eliminate from my diet uh, that help eliminate inflammation for me. And it teaches you how to find your triggers and then build, build your meals around that. This is my sixth cookbook. And fortunately they've all done well, but we've never gotten feedback like we have uh, with Fix It With Food. Um, and it makes you feel good too because we've gotten tons and tons and tons of feedback where I did the 10-day reset, I have never felt this good in my life. You know, I, I didn't think that it was possible to feel this good again. Um, so it's it's helping people. And at, at the end of the day, you know, w whether I'm teaching cooking on TV or put out a cookbook, you know, I, I it's, it's nice to know like either people are taking your recipes and feeding their family with it or they're taking your recipes and it's making them feel a little bit better. Uh, physically or about themselves. So, um, you know, it's one of the great pleasures of being a chef. I mean, I think with this book, it was it was very personal because it was a journey that I've had to go through myself. Um, so I got to see the effects of it. Um, and, you know, the rewarding part of it is I think so many people do have autoimmune and to know that they could tamper down some of those pains without cranking tons of medication, I think makes people pretty happy sometimes.